Queensland tourism has always placed a premium on sun, surf and sand. But recent bad weather and the world's financial woes have made the Sunshine State's message harder to sell. As a result, the industry, which directly employs more than 120,000 people, has been suffering. The state government's remedy is a dose of more of the same. This week, it unveiled the Queensland Shines advertising campaign. And as Stephanie Smale reports, tourism operators are hopeful the tactic will work once more. Queensland, busy one day, deserted the next. International visitor expenditure in Queensland has declined by 4%. 4% translates into about $160 million that did not come to Queensland compared to the previous year. And that is a huge amount of revenue that is missing in someone's till. We had uh, a reduction in air services into the region uh, a couple of years ago, and that was followed by the GFC. And then we had swine flu last year, and... Uh, now we've got a very strong Australian dollar, which is uh, making things a little bit difficult for us. The tide has been out for the Sunshine State's $9 billion tourism industry for the past 18 months. The tropical north has been hit hard, and many operators in the normally bustling region have been struggling to stay afloat. Obviously it's cost jobs. Uh, we have uh, the highest uh, unemployment levels in Australia and, uh, uh, and uh, the, the region actually benefits from tourism with uh, around 20% of all jobs being uh, uh, driven by the tourism industry. So obviously any downturn impacts jobs and uh, real-term uh, income. The Cairns-based Quicksilver Group has been shuttling tourists to and from the Great Barrier Reef for decades. As passenger numbers dropped, it had to make some tough decisions and shed 15% of its workforce. Well, like all operations, we've had a very heavy review of our finances, so it's really managing our costs as best we can. At the same time, we've had to look at our staffing levels and, uh, where appropriate, we've undertaken not to replace staff when other staff have left, and, and that's certainly put a lot of pressure, a lot more pressure back on everybody else. The Sunshine Coast has struggled too. There's some restaurants that have closed down. There's some very high-profile restaurants that have had to close down. Uh, we've had a number of major operators that have had to lay off staff. But that's no different to a, a range of industries you know, right across you know, the economy. When the GFC hit, you know, that was a natural you know, outcome. Uh, and in some ways, it's natural selection. What, you know, what we finish up with is a much stronger product. It's now 12 years since Tourism Queensland launched its last brand. The Queensland Government ordered a shake-up of the state's tourism brand about 12 months ago to help kick-start the industry's recovery. And after 12 years of this... From Cool and Gatter to Cape York. Please, stay between the flags. They came up with a shiny new slogan. Where it shines, where it shines, Queensland shines on me, where Australia shines. Queensland, where Australia shines, tells the world that if you want a holiday in Australia, the very best place you can come to is Queensland. Unfortunately, these school holidays, there's been rain and more rain across the state. But that hasn't dampened operators' enthusiasm for the sun and surf approach. It certainly has come at a good time. We now need to act. We need to respond to the challenges that we have in front of us. Some things we can do very little about. We can't uh, change the value of the dollar. We can't uh, do much about international uh, economic confidence. But we can certainly do some things about how we take our message to the world and how we present ourselves. We are seeing so much competition thrown at us uh, that we need to be more aggressive in the marketplace. We need the uh, support of all levels of government. And, of course, uh, this is a very good uh, tonic at the moment. And hopefully uh, it will also mean that uh, there will be improved investment by the Queensland Government in the uh, marketing of tourism. A quick survey of the visitors who have made it to the tropical north is encouraging. I love the weather, um, I love the accommodation 
Um, we're staying at a beach just down the road and it's fantastic. Cairns have got a lot going for it, really. You know, there's so many different things you can see. Oh, it's fantastic, really. Beaches, people, food, everything fantastic. When I come back, I tell everybody, please come to Australia. <laughs> But operators are under no illusion that it's all clear skies ahead. I'm not going to come out and say we've turned the corner and everything's great because you never know what's going to happen globally that's suddenly going to impact you know, tourism. And I'd like to think now that the markets are, are at a bottom and, and it's now time for uh, or a great opportunity for the markets to return to some growth. It is a tough world out there. Many countries, many destinations have cottoned on to the fact that tourism is a good industry to be in because it works for the community, it works for the economy and, and it works also uh, uh, for the environment for instance. So we should take advantage of uh, the advantages that we have in Queensland and we should build on that.